Introduction to Tables for Microsoft Word 2003 Fortunately, Microsoft Word 2003 makes it very easy to uh, implement a table. For the scope of this lesson, we're just going to take some very easy steps to creating and then manipulating a table in Microsoft Word. Let's start by creating a table. We'll click the uh, Table menu, which is pretty much where everything's going to happen in this lesson. Insert Table. The Insert Table dialog appears, and Microsoft Word has set some default values for you. It has assumed that you want a table with five columns and two rows. We'll leave that alone for now. We'll click OK, and here we've got our table with five columns and two rows. What would happen if we wanted to add a row to this table? Well, simply put the cursor in one of your rows, click Table, Insert, and we can say Rows Above. And of course, we can do the same thing by saying Table, Insert, Rows Below. What would happen if we wanted to um, add a column to our table? We could select this column and say Table, Insert, Column to the right, and as you can imagine, we can take the same approach and say Table, Insert, Column to the left. Great. Let's say we wanted to uh, chop this table up a little bit and delete these three columns. We could just select them and say Table, Delete, Columns. And now we have uh, three less columns. What would happen if you wanted to uh, merge the contents of a cell? Let's say we have this top row, but we wanted it all to be a one column row. We could simply do that by uh, saying table select row and then do what's called a merge, table merge cells. And what it's done is it's made a fi uh, taken a four columns and merge them into one. So this row has one column where the remaining rows have uh, four columns. And as you can imagine, we can do the same thing with a column. We can, uh, let's get rid of this row, so we'll say table, select row, table, delete row. And let's say we wanted to uh, take this column and merge it into one cell, so there's not three rows, but just one row. So we could say table, select column table merge cells and there you go one last thing that's good to know is you also have the option of using auto form format to create a pretty snazzy looking table with only a couple of clicks let's first get rid of our table here I'll do that by just closing this document I'll create a new one then I'll say table insert table and we'll uh, before we click OK to the insert table dialog we'll click auto format. And here you can select from a number of pre-built Microsoft Word templates that uh, do some pretty pretty cool formatting for you. The nice thing too is you can uh, choose to apply special formats to heading rows, first column, last row, last column, or none. As you can see here, if we didn't apply any special formatting at all, every row and, s and column of the table has the same look. We can just say make the heading row special, make the first column special, we can make the last row special, the last column special, or we can just say make everything special, which gives it a really nice completed look. Of course we haven't written anything on our table yet, but if we did, that's what it would look like. So, in a nutshell, there you go. Uh, introduction to Working with Tables for Microsoft Word 2003.